given lectures or teachings or poems. Imagine a super-fast, hyper-intelligent angel can suddenly come to you and give you the total number of words, including all those you've spoken so far, both outwardly and audibly, or those you've thought inwardly. Allow the thought within you to arise that all these words have had only one intent, one aim, and that is to help bring peace to situations of conflict, either small and family type conflicts when a child, or now larger international type conflicts affecting the family of man. See if you can see the word count of peace and also of others on this planet. Who else on this planet is now striving to use words for peace? Who is writing, publishing, teaching and speaking out for peace and non-violence? See if you can hear them. Are there some in every country? Many? Where are the Nelson Mandela's of now? Who is writing, publishing? Fly around the planet, encircle it, and listen in to the world communications down below. And scrutinize them using your inner eye for peace content. Imagine you can see words glowing with gold and white and beautiful coloured radiant transparent light energy when they're aimed at truth, justice and peacemaking. All peacemaking is magical. Just as magical as lovemaking, the quintessential act of making. Imagine you can hear the sound of Christ's voice as recorded in the Akashic ethers, or Buddha's speaking voice, or Mahavira's, or Guru Nanak's or those other great spiritual teachers of past ages. Muhammad, Ali, Khadija, and Rumi. Listen in to them for a while. Give thanks for them all. Then return, renewed in faith, 